Hi, YouTube. It's a farmer here. Just going to try to do episode two or installment two in my uh, pipe and pipe tobacco reviews. Um, I think it's more like my pipe and pipe tobacco opinions. So take it with a grain of salt. Um, the objective, I think, of these shorter videos are going to be uh, show you a pipe that I own, give you my opinions on it the best that I can, a tobacco that I like to smoke in that uh, pipe, and my opinions on that, and maybe some recollections um, of the day, maybe you share some of those uh, recollections or feelings. Um, but today's the last day of the year, 2016, and I was on my way to work this morning, and as well as being in the agricultural end of things also have a, a regular job but uh, on my way in this morning and um, just didn't have that I just didn't have that get up and go that I usually do and I haven't had it in the last six weeks and I'm trying to pinpoint why and, and I, I'm thinking that it just really all boils down to what we went through here at the end of the year with the election and I think that um, I think no matter what side you're on, no matter if it's an outcome that you really wanted to happen, um, an outcome that you didn't want to happen or you're somewhere in the middle, um, you have to admit that it was tough on everybody. It was tough on the whole country. And it's going to be tough for a little while longer, I believe. And um, I just told myself that I can't really, I, we, we had a, we had a pretty good year as far as I'm concerned. And I, I had a lot of fun this year, met a lot of new people through the, through the, through the pipe community, uh, learned quite a few things this year as I do every year. And I just didn't want to let that event or those events that compiled up here in the last six to eight weeks of the year diminish, uh, the good things that happened in 2016. And you know, hopefully you can do the same thing as you're reflecting on your, um, on your accomplishments. Uh, so that's about all I have to say about that. You know, freedom of speech is a big, is a big deal to everybody. You know, my dad came home from his tour in the service in the early 70s, and, you know, he would have people telling him all the time, well, this person said this about Vietnam, and that person doesn't like this and that, doesn't agree. And they all thought that they were going to win my dad onto their side. And uh, he, he would tell them that the entire reason that he volunteered and enlisted uh, during that draft was because he felt strongly about giving what he had for the freedoms and the Constitution of this country as a patriot. And that was their freedom of speech and their freedom of opinion, and, and he wasn't going to take that away from them or... Um, allow that to diminish what he felt was his accomplishments while he was in there. And I, I think that, you know, I when I got out of the military, uh, this is the first big event since September 11th where it's, it's polarized this country and you have so much of the same with opinions on both sides and people feel so strongly and they're so passionate about their opinion. But what we have to remember, I think, is good American citizens uh, and good allies to this country is that um, this country was founded on on freedoms and it's it's certainly our right to have our opinion and regardless of the side that you're on um, you know don't let don't let the opinions of other people d diminish yours and um, like I said if, if uh, all, all we can do is get better so I, th I hope 2017 brings you um, health and happiness. I hope 2017 brings you uh, prosperity to you and your family. And we'll, we'll, we'll continue to press on. So that being said, all that out of the way, let's get to the, to the opinion section here. So this is the pipe that I want to talk about today. This is a nose warmer that I picked up at the Columbus show this year. 
it's a Perry White. It is um, the smallest and shortest uh, pipe that I own at this time. It really has uh, a nice deep rustication around the ring grain. Um, you know the short stem with the with the um, with the fit and finish on this pipe. I, I like this little pipe. I bought this pipe solely for a purpose. It fit a need. Um, I bought it from uh, Bob Swanson, the uh, the carver, and it uh, it fits perfectly in a small compartment on a, in a tractor or a pickup truck, and. Uh, it's heavy. It's 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 heavy for its size, I should say. But it's a really well built, well made pipe. It smokes fine, no complaints. Uh, feels good in the hand. It has it has uh, like I said a nice weight to it, and um, it smokes cool. It has a good flavor as well. So I enjoy this pipe. If you get a chance, check out Perry White on the internet. I think that is their address, their web address. Uh, dot com and um, give Bob a shout. He he does make a nice product. I'm 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 probably 30, 40 bowls into this pipe and and no issues. It does have a I think you could see it in there a little little pit right here, a little indentation, but um, it's absolutely nothing serious. Doesn't affect anything. It's not a it's not a hot spot by any means but um, yeah I like it I like it a lot so easy to clean um, fluffy pipe cleaner right through it obviously at a straight pipe and um, feels good in the, in the between the teeth mouthpiece is uh, well made it's got a uh, pretty heavy button here at the end which I like it doesn't it feels secure if I'm clenching it and it's durable, so I'm, I'm tough on a pipe, and uh, this has passed all the tests so far. So it's got uh, a smooth up here at the top. I've already got it loaded to save a little bit of time. And what I've loaded it with is wilderness. This is um, this is actually a tobacco that. Now looking at the top at the lid, I purchased this tobacco at Columbus as well. It is not, I have not seen it at my local uh, tobacco shops in this area. I do believe that, um, I do believe that the shop down in Blonox, Pennsylvania, which I talked about uh, on the last video, I believe they do carry this. I think I actually did buy a fresh can from them um, earlier this year. But basically, uh, if I could read the back of the tin, uh, this remarkable blend, blend formulated by Fred Hanna provides a multi-layered, rich taste experience. The highest quality Syrian Latakia combines with small amounts of Cyprian uh, to form a base for an exquisite array of rare and precious Orientals, sweet drama, Exotic, not sure how to pronounce that word, Yenidje, and more. I'm sure I butchered that word, by the way. Red Virginia's complement the blend, adding sweetness, richness, strength, and creaminess. Smoke this mixture and listen for the echoes of savored memories. Not 100% sure about the savored memories. However, uh, the rest of the tin description, um, it, it, it hits it pretty much on the head. Uh, I do get a lot of Oriental out of this blend. To me, the Virginias aren't aren't there. Um, they're hard to pick out for me, and I think that describes it pretty well. The Latakia that's in there, I mean, certainly certainly in there with the Oriental. But if I had to stack this up against, you know, my Orientals, I would call this, you know, more of that, more of an Oriental, and uh, a little less of a Latakia. That's the cut. 
so not a rough cut at all. But um, I think right out of the tin, I think this tin was about uh, maybe a couple years old. Yeah, this tin was manufactured according to the stamp date in 2013. It was pretty nicely um, dried up in the tin. Didn't take a lot of uh, re or dehydration to get it to where I wanted it to be. It's dried a little bit since I since I cracked it, and uh, in my opinion, that improved the, the the smoke of this. And I think, like I touched in one of the last videos, you know, one of the things that make or break a tobacco for me, or actually, they don't make or break it, but it takes it from from like I said, a um, a great smoke to a really great smoke is the way that uh, they call it creaminess. I, I don't know if I would describe it that way, but I guess that's a way you could take it. But it's a nice full body mouthfeel um, for the smoke, and I like that a lot. It stays lit um, for the most part. I don't have any more issues with this than I have with. Uh, with any other tobacco, less than some tobaccos, uh, as far as keeping an ember in there. And um, that's that. So I think this tin, I paid $19 for this tin. I'm sure that uh, the fresh tin that I purchased down there at, um, at Allegheny Smokeworks was less than that. But uh, I wanted to try it, and uh, it had a few years of age on it. so picked it up and I uh, enjoy it and then also as far as the pipe was concerned I don't think I touched on that I think this pipe was somewhere in the low $200 range if I remember right and um, yeah so that's to the best of my knowledge that's that's what I paid for this pipe so that being said we'll put a flame to this You know, I always carried uh, a tamper separate from my lighter, and I still do. I own several of them. Some of the cheap little check pipe tools, and all the way up to some some wooden uh, switchblade type tampers, $30, $40 dollar tampers, I guess. I don't know. But the problem is, I'm not what you would call the most organized person in the world. So I'm always searching. And when I'm in the moment, I don't like to be interrupted by something falling down between the cushion of the recliner or the cushion of the truck seat or getting out of the uh, getting out of a piece of equipment and hearing that that clink down the steps and knowing that that tamper was sitting on my lap because none of those tampers were big enough to to always be on my mind or heavy enough if it was sitting here on top of my coat down in one of the folds of the fabric so. I find myself um, I find myself leaving those tampers in the den for the most part. I think there's one or two out in my truck and probably another couple scattered here and there. But I like these lighters that have the tamper built into the base. Some of them have the I have a lighter that folds out and I have this lighter that it just extends, it's telescopic. It is not the greatest tamper in the world. It doesn't have quite the throw to get down in some of those deeper bowls, but for a pipe like this, this little tamper works real well. Just on the base of this, uh, on the base of this little Kamoy's, uh branded lighter. So it's got a big base to it, and it gets in there pretty well. I like this tobacco on a day like today. Like I said, today's December 31st in northeastern Ohio. We've had snow this morning. It turned to a really heavy freezing rain um, in the real early parts of the afternoon around lunchtime. And it switched to a, um, a lighter sleet freezing rain and now it's, now it's raining. So on a day like today, um, this wilderness just seems to fit the bill. 
It's um, it's my go-to over um, over uh, actually any Oriental is my go-to in weather like this over Englishes or anything like that. So yeah, I like this a lot. It's um, it's a nice heavy body tobacco. I'm just about to lose the flame on it. I pack this pipe. Um, this is a three step or two step pipe as most of you are familiar with that packing method but those of you who are not I fill it all the way up really light tamp then uh, fill it up again a little harder and if there's if there's room you know we get the top of it and, and hit it one more time a little harder than that and that's what it takes to keep this thing happy and filled but uh, this is being a little temperamental I can see a glow in there still in the dead center but uh, it's getting its fair share of relights today could be the humidity in the air yeah but that being said uh, thanks for watching leave any comments and um, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Appreciate the response to the first couple videos, the comments, and the um, and the requests. Keep them coming. And that being said, have a great 2017. Uh, be healthy and prosperous to you and your family. And uh, we'll talk again soon.